In this video, we'll be looking at what the media will have you believe is one of the most dangerous white powders on the planet. Yes, this stuff. Sugar. And we'll be taking a good scientific look at how dangerous it really is. So it's time for that learning curve. In order to properly answer this question, we have to go back. Way back. In fact, we have to go back to the plains of Africa. Our hunter-gatherer ancestors lived a hard life. All the food they ate, they had to hunt or find growing. Sugar was scarce. The only time they could have been able to eat sugar was when fruit was ripe, or from raiding bees' nests for the honey contained inside. Sugar was a rich source of energy, and this was important. Starvation was a very real risk, and so the ability to store excess energy as fat might mean the difference between life and death. Ripe fruit contained more calories than unripe fruit, and so being able to taste when fruit was ripe, and therefore sweeter, was a definite advantage. Colour vision also meant that we could see when fruit was ripe, but that's another story. And here is where our craving for sugar started. But evolution is a slow process, and technology has far outpaced the rather ambulatory nature of our genes. And so we find ourselves in the 21st century still having a love for the sweet stuff. Getting hold of sugar, however, has become incredibly easy. Everything from cakes, biscuits, sweets and soft drinks, all of them packed with sugar, and all of them very easy to get hold of now. So what's the problem with sugar then? Well, granulated sugar is mainly a sugar called sucrose. Each molecule of sucrose consists of two other sugar molecules joined together. And a molecule of sucrose is made from a molecule of glucose and a molecule of fructose. An enzyme in our intestines, called sucrase, breaks the glucose and fructose molecules apart so that they can be absorbed into our blood. Glucose is an important molecule, the starting point for cellular respiration which makes the molecule ATP, which we use as the energy source for our bodies. But what about fructose? If you're eating sugar, then about 50% of what you're consuming is fructose. In addition, in the USA, many of their soft drinks are sweetened with high fructose corn syrup. And this, whilst not being all fructose, is roughly a 50-50 mixture of glucose and fructose. And it's the fructose that's considered to be the problem. So why is fructose so dangerous? The problem with fructose is that whilst every cell in your body can use glucose to generate energy, only the liver can really deal with fructose. And when it gets too much of the stuff, it starts converting it into fat. This process also produces uric acid and free radicals. More about those later. So what are the bad things that fructose does? Firstly, some of the fat that's made in the liver is stored there. This can lead to a condition called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. If this disease progresses, it can cause inflammation of the liver and damage to your liver cells. The fats can enter the bloodstream where they will affect the balance of lipids, and this can lead to an increase in VLDLs, that's the bad cholesterol, and a decrease in HDLs, that's the good cholesterol. And obviously, too much fat in our bodies can also lead to obesity, which has its own associated dangers. Fructose may also cause insulin resistance, which can lead to type 2 diabetes. It can also lead to leptin resistance, and it doesn't satisfy our hunger as well as other carbohydrates, and so could lead to overeating. Raised levels of uric acid are responsible for gout, and the free radicals produced are very reactive chemicals, and they can damage cell structure and can even damage your DNA. So what about fruit though? Whilst fructose is the main sugar found in most fruit, eating fruit is absolutely fine as fruit contains lots of other substances, such as fibre, which is very good for intestinal health, and also vitamins and minerals. The fructose density in fruit is also not very high, meaning that whilst fructose is the main sugar found in fruit, it doesn't contain actually all that much of it, so eating fruit is not just okay, it's the healthy alternative to sugary snacks. Having said all that, however, the evidence isn't quite as cut and dried as it may seem. Yes, eating too much fructose is not good for you, but it's usually associated with eating too many calories in general, and the increase in fat production may be a side effect of just eating too many calories, and not just the fructose. Clearly, more research needs to be done on this subject, but I think we can all agree that a healthy diet is better for us than a diet pack full of sugar. Well, that's it for this video, and until next time, thank you for watching.